Hello beautiful souls. Brittany and Ella here today. And um, so I just felt this calling to pick up the camera and so I'm just kind of following along with it. Um, not fully sure what I'm going to say. But what I do know um, is that actually I ran across a quote from the Bible yesterday. And as most of you know, you know, I've never really studied the Bible or read the Bible or been to church. I didn't grow up in any religion um, at all. Um, but, you know, along my path, the A Course in Miracles seems to have presented itself to me. And at the time with which it came into my life, I recognized that the principles within it, the intent within it, the words within it, the energy within it, the the um, just truth within it um, resonated on every single level of my being. And um, it has been um, what I have used to help to train my mind and uh, help to be at peace um, through the acceptance of who I am as God created me to be. And so I really find that it's such a powerful and potent tool that every other seeming book or spiritual practice has fallen away because this one is so whole and complete. Um, and I also find where I'm at now as well that I don't even necessarily need the day-by-day -day lessons that I, you know, did back in 2013 and, and have continued to do before and, and a little bit after because the, the acceptance of my part in God's plan and my acceptance of who I am as God's child, God's daughter, God's son, um, has become so real, um, in my mind and in my life that now I'm literally listening to God's voice and I am doing as guided every single day. And so every morning that I wake up, I wake up in the state of joy to greet the day, um, so that I can literally, um, do whatever it is that he would have me do that day. Um, and of course, little Miss Ella has joined us since June, 2015 to be part of that. And yet that listening to God's voice hasn't changed. That certainty in, in my purpose hasn't changed. That direction um, toward him and, and toward the healing of the planet through the gifts that I can give haven't, haven't changed. Um, and so um, I guess this leads me back to the quote that I saw in the Bible, just I guess bringing back the universal nature of God's laws and God's truth, that it isn't just found in the Course, even though that is what speaks to me um, the closest. It's found in an almost every single religion on the face of the planet, um, I've just found through dabbling into all of them a little bit is, is recognizing that there's definite truth of what God promises to be true in, in all of them, but there's also a lot of contradiction. Um, but I like with, you know, the Holy Spirit as my guide to look at, to, into all things and find only that which is true and Pick it out and find it like a gemstone. Um, and so I just wanted to read that quote here and just see um, what comes of it. So the quote that uh, came to me was from John um, 10, 27. It says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And so the reason why I like this is because it's literally God speaking to us about us being his sheep, us being his sons, us being his children. And when we hear his voice and we choose to hear only his voice, then we literally will follow him. We will follow him because when we listen to God's voice, that's communication. And when we are sending off, it's almost like a, a, a radio station, right? When you tune into the appropriate radio station, you connect with that wave and you can hear everything. So when we're finally listening to God's voice and not the ego's voice, we literally connect with the thoughts of God, with the mind of God, with the truth of God. And then God recognizes us. And when he recognizes us, it goes, there's my son. And we literally can receive whatever it is that we're to do here, whatever it is to, we're to extend here, whatever it is we're to create here. Um, and, and through that channel of God's voice, um, we follow him. We follow his plan. We follow, um, you know, his His will. We follow his laws. And uh, this is what he is, is letting us know of in, in the Bible, that my sheep hear my voice, my sons hear my voice, and I know them. It's like he's almost like celebrating and I know my sons through the communication channel of the Holy Spirit as they listen to the voice for God, listen to Christ in their mind, 
I know them, and then they follow me. And um, I just felt that this was so perfect and, and um, you know, even and really accurate for how I feel we live our life, um, is that we've just chosen to hear God's voice and to know that God's voice speaks to us all through the day. And uh, it's literally just a matter of listening to, to it. And, um, you know, there will be times where we will be tempted um, to, to listen to the ego. There will be times that we'll be tempted into frustration or, or anger or um, intense emotions of any kind. Um, but any time the opportunity for those um, emotions rise up, it literally is an opportunity to apply forgiveness. Um, and as I've expressed many times, and as the Course teaches, um, and as our own internal teacher will lead us to experience, um, is that forgiveness is ultimately a change of mind. Um, it literally um, changes the way that we see the situation. It changes the way that we see ourselves. It changes the way that we see the other person. And once this vision is changed, then we look upon it in a wholly completely new way, and this new way brings us peace. Um, and, and this is what happens when we follow God's voice, is it allows us to look on everything that is happening in this world and everything that has happened in this world in a way that brings us peace. And that is the goal of the Of Course in Miracles. That is the goal of living on earth when it is properly seen. And um, it is absolutely and entirely attainable um, through very simple practices. And actually this is bringing my mind to a part in the Of Course in Miracles that joins in with this, this thought from the Bible. Um, and it is actually in the Principles of Miracles, but it's found in the, in the sparkly version because it's been taken um, back from the, uh, the air text and reinstated. Um, but anyways, what it is, what it says is learn, listen, and do are the three steps of the Great Crusade. And Jesus says that once we no longer can tolerate the lack of love in any of our brothers, when we are no longer willing to tolerate the lack of love in any of our brothers, we automatically have accepted the, to the atonement. And once we accept the atonement, what our function is, is to follow the Great Crusade. And the Great Crusade consists of three steps, listening, learning, and doing. So it's listening to my voice, the voice for God, the Holy Spirit, Christ. Um, learn to undo error, forgive, correct our mistakes, and then do something to correct it, right? So the doing, the action steps come after listening and learning. And so it's very, very, very similar to, to this quote that I just pulled up here. My sheep hear my voice, listen to my voice, and I know them. There's that relationship. In the knowing is the acceptance of the atonement, the one self, the one mind. And in that one self, which is the um, learning to undo error, we follow God. We do as guided. We, we do something to correct it. And so it's quite incredible when we can actually open up our eyes to see where it is the same in, in all texts, in all people, in all religions, um, because there is a commonality, a thread of what is real and what is true found in everything. And when we allow ourselves to look on that which is true and that which is the same, we literally do become reinstated back into the mind that is one with God and we literally get to experience what it's like to be one with God and and in this unity is our perfect 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 everything you know like it even says in the same chapter of listen learn and do that we have been given everything and this is how I feel right that everything isn't even necessarily everything of form although it's not excluding that it, but it's everything that God has given, and God gives everything that doesn't perish. God gives everything that is completely eternal. And, um, and so when we allow ourselves to receive what is true, we are allowing ourselves to receive things that never fade. And to me, those are always attributes of God. So peace and, and joy and commitment to purpose and, and a literal part to play in his plan, like absolute, um, you know, uh, uh, joy and, and, and extension when we choose to be with our brothers and see our brothers and join with our brothers. <laughs> And, um, and, it, and it's all of these things that create the foundation for us to walk along this earth.
you know, because we're not walking along this earth alone. We're not walking along this earth by ourselves. God goes with us. And since God goes with us, we have his voice to listen to and we have his laws to apply. And I really just feel that when we allow ourselves to remember that there's always two voices that we can listen to in our mind, either it's the ego or it's God's. And whenever we feel like shit and whenever we feel down upon ourselves, whenever we feel hurt by somebody else or cringe upon by the world, it is because we are listening to the voice of the ego. And so we can always choose again and we can always choose to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, the voice of Christ, the voice of God which is literally the one mind that exists in all of us um, to welcome and hear and receive. And um, yeah, and so I feel that that is the message that I wanted to just spring forward today because I went to bed with this thought, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I woke up this morning with this thought and I just seemed to wake up really early today with little Miss Ella and, um, and so I just felt really appropriate. So let's learn do, brother and sister souls. Let's remember these truths. Let's remember these practices and apply them in our days and know that when we allow these thoughts to be the focus of our mind, that God is there and God loves us and um, God will take care of us as he always does. Right, little Masella? Right, little Masella? <laughs> All right, beautiful souls, I love you. Thank you for being present with me today and uh, with us today. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.